Where do you stand on compulsory digital IDs and surveillance by the state, even for an issue like migration, which you're really clearly so passionate about? Yeah, so I'm completely against uh, central bank digital currencies. I see them as positively evil. You know, central bank, that's, people confuse it often with cryptocurrencies. It's the antithesis of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies is, you know, you own some kind of notional asset, which no one can really track down because it's yours, it's held, it's yours privately. Central bank digital currencies, basically the pound note that you, Alan, own, is, I'm sure you know all this, Alan, um, but you know, for those who are watching, uh, the power note that you own will be registered at the Bank of England as being Allen's. And when you spend it, they will know exactly what you spent it on. Yeah. And um, that is total state control. And we've got to stop it. We're already moving away from a cashless society, which is very damaging, I think, to freedom. The fact that we can't spend our money without it going through a system that can be audited and, uh, you know, decisions can be made based on how they see our spending habits um, and what we do. Um, so totally against all of that, IDs, et cetera, against the mandatory vaccination. It wasn't a vaccine. At best, it was some kind of prophylactic. It wasn't a vaccine. It didn't protect in the way they said it would protect. Totally against lockdowns. Boris Johnson used to liken lockdowns to World War II, uh, the fighting COVID to World War II. It's the antithesis of World War II. In World War II, people gave up their lives to save their civil liberties. In, in COVID, we gave up our civil liberties to save our lives. That's the transition this country's been through. We would have, we've given up Northern Ireland. Well, one of the reasons I've stayed in politics is to protect the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. We've given up 1.8 million people across the IRC, British citizens, to a foreign power, subject to foreign laws made by a foreign legislature, enforced by a foreign court, without a single shot being fired. Yeah, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't have digital IDs Sorry, around, moved the on, issue, but, you know. around the issue of migration is, I think, what you're saying as well. You wouldn't allow them to be imposed on the basis... No. no right, okay. Yeah. So, we should know who's in our no, country another, without having yes. everyone carrying an ID card. Got it.